Welcome to the Pennsylvania Gourd Society virtual booth presentation for the 2021 Pennsylvania Farm Show. Our group was founded in 2003 and we are a state chapter of the American Gourd Society. Since we could not be with you in person this year, we created this movie to share with you a little about us and why we think gourds are so special. Our mission is to promote the use of gourds in Pennsylvania to grow different varieties and use them in artistic and functional craft by providing a supportive and educational environment for our members and the community. Now, let's look at some frequently asked questions. What is a gourd? Gourds are a type of vegetable that grows on a vine. They are a cousin of the pumpkin. There are two main types of gourd, ornamental and hard shell. Ornamentals are the colorful gourd you may decorate with in the fall. Hard shells are a type that will dry and harden so that they can be crafted. These are the gourds that we will be talking about today. How do you grow gourds? Most hard shell gourd varieties require 100 to 120 days of growing season to mature. So for us in Pennsylvania, we start our seeds indoors in early spring. We keep our seedlings warm by providing heat mats and grow lights. Many gourd growers pollinate their gourds by hand. We watch for blossoms and wait for the gourd babies to appear. For the gourd whose destiny is to be crafted, it is necessary that it remain on the vine until the vine dies, usually after the first frost. Nothing special is needed to dry a gourd. Just let it sit nine to 12 months and let nature take its course. See all the mold and dried skin? Just wash it off and you will see the beautiful shell underneath. All that hard work paid off. How do you craft gourds? Many of us gourders begin by using an electric mini jigsaw to cut the gourd open. You can see the seeds and dried pulp inside. This will all get scooped out. Then we may use this cleaner ball that also sands the interior of the gourd. Now we are ready for additional decoration, such as chip carving, power carving, painting or dyeing, burning, and rim treatments such as coiling. There is so much you can do with a gourd, but don't just take my word for it. Take a look at some of our own members' gourd art. We hope you enjoyed that slideshow. If that piqued your interest, consider membership in the Pennsylvania Gourd Society. We offer workshops and demos throughout the year. And 
we host an annual gourd festival every June that is free to the public. At the fest, you will find workshops, vendors selling supplies and finished art, an art competition, and even an auction. You can find out all of the details on our website, pagourdsociety.org.